It's all in decline. No, really, it is. I mean, this whole industry is on the brink of collapse. A hell, if it hasn't imploded in on itself already. How? <laughs> well, I can tell you how. You know, as Doc Brown says, I can tell you about the future. Well, let me tell you about the future of this industry and how shit it's going to be. Remix are one thing. No, that's got to be addressed more than anything. If you don't get attached to a franchise or, or rub your shoulders with your big boys, your, your Disney, Netflix, Prime, then you're screwed. Oh, sure. You might be an indie, darling, but how long does that really last? You might tour a couple of film festivals or or get a couple of rave reviews in. What's that website called? Uh, Empire. Total Film. They'll say that your performance is a revelation. That you are the new face of acting. <laughs> yeah, well, the new face of acting lasts about two months nowadays. It'll be yesterday's news quicker than... I can't actually think of a metaphor for it, but it's a heartless world. No, I'm not lying. I mean, it's been this way for as long as I can remember. I mean, even ever since my big break. God, how old was I? 10, 11, 12? I mean, and that's at the latest. I think it was 11. 11 years old. And I was the future of acting. I was the next big thing, the, the indie darling, the golden star that the three wise fucking men followed to find Jesus in the stable in. Everyone was looking at me to lead the future of acting. Four big TV shows off the bat, progressing into feature films. What's that saying? Uh, the, the world is your oyster. Or the world became my oyster. And there were pearls here, there, and everywhere. And the money. Let's just say the money wasn't to be argued with either. And ever since I was a child, the stardom world enslaved me. I mean, I could barely breathe a journalist showing up at my house. I could hardly walk 10 steps down the street without someone shoving a camera in my face. And let me tell you, when I say that camera flash is blinding, I mean blinding. I didn't mind it though. I really didn't. I mean, I was hot shit to those people and it felt good. You know, I'll be honest with you, I got an ego. Uh, it felt good to be loved by them. It felt good that people knew my name. I was never one to shy away from a crowd, so what was I going to do it then? And then they just left. Left me alone. You know, the camera flashes became less frequent. The calls from my agent turned into weekly instead of daily. I was ignored. I was yesterday's news. The thing is, I don't even know when it happened. It was just like this big bolt of bad news had struck down upon me and changed everything. I just don't know when or how it happened. You know, did I get one spot and everyone suddenly thought, oh, she's lost her young and innocent look. No, it can't be because because I had a couple of shows in my teens. I mean, was it my early 20s? Did I become super bitchy or did everyone suddenly not like my attitude or, or the colour of my hair, the way I dyed it? I mean, they don't tell you these things. It's not like someone officially fires you and says, sorry, but we're letting you go from acting because you are shit. There's nothing. You just left out to dry. <sighs> yeah, 
the industry itself it it carries on it keeps going you know as long as the cogs in the huge industry machine are turning then the small little nuts and bolts like me well well we hardly matter in the grand scheme of things now do we <laughs>